What's going on guys, it's Draman, and today we are actually going to be doing a top 10 list on what you might ask, well, if you didn't see the title of the video or the thumbnail, you're an idiot. We're gonna be going over the top 10 best signature sneaker logos of all time. But just keep in mind that this is my personal list of my favorite logos. So be sure to share with me your list in the comment section below and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more great content just like this. So now that you got it, Let's go get it. Starting off the list at number 10, we have Clay Thompson's Anta logo. Now I know what you guys are saying. You only put this logo on the list because you went to China with Clay Thompson. And yes, that is definitely part of the reason why it's on the list. But even that aside, I am still a fan of this logo, which is weird because usually I'm not a fan of those logos that have the two initials and the number. I just think it's lazy and it feels forced a lot of the time, but I honestly don't get that feeling with Clay's logo. I think the logo flows very nicely. I enjoy all of the sharp edges. I also really like it when Anta uses the base of a logo as one color and then the numbers in the upper left hand corner are another. I think it looks really clean, but here's a fun fact. The people in China who work with Anta, they call Clay KT. And it really confused me because I thought they were saying KD because it sounds so close to KT. But it was also confusing because Clay, it's already a short name. Just call him Clay. Next up on the list at number nine, we have Derek Rose's Adidas logo. Man, when Derrick Rose was absolutely tearing the league up during his MVP season, he was my favorite player at that moment. And he still is because that guy's extremely loyal to the city of Chicago. And speaking of loyalty, the three petals on this logo of the Rose actually represent his brother. So I can always get down with the logo that somehow incorporates his family. It's a real nice personal touch that just makes Derrick Rose, who's a superstar, or at least was a superstar, feel very human and I can always get down with that. It's a shame that Derek couldn't keep his high level of play because of his injuries, because I feel like if he had, this logo would be a lot more popular than it was. But let's be honest guys, his signature line still performs at a very high level. Coming in at number eight, we have Tracy McGrady's old Adidas logo. Man, when I was in middle school and Tracy McGrady was averaging like 33, 35 points a game, I thought this logo was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I used to draw it in the back of my notebooks. I used to actually take my pencil, use the eraser and take the eraser out so it was just that little metal band and I would etch this logo onto wooden desk at my old school. It's probably still there to this day. Obviously, it's the shape of a basketball hoop. You have his number right there, but the net of the hoop is actually his initials. As you can see, you have the T and the M right there. It's not really a refined logo, and plus, his signature line was a little popular back in the day, but it didn't really carry over into the next generation. Had that happened, this logo, definitely would have been higher on this list. Coming in at number seven, we have Kyrie Irving's logo with Nike. Now I just got done talking about how Tracy McGrady's logo wasn't really refined, but the complete opposite can be said for Kyrie's logo. You don't really have to say much about it. It's just clean. Obviously you have the K and there's two columns behind the K. I always thought that was a Roman numeral two, but apparently it's an I. Either way, now it looks like an 11, which works perfect because he's wearing number 11 for the Celtics, so Illuminati confirmed. Next up on the list, at number six, we have the claw. This logo is absolutely awesome in my opinion, but the only reason why it sits at this spot on this list is because it's a pretty busy logo. I mean, it's not as simple as I would like it to be, but from a creativity point of view, 10 out of 10. This has to be one of the most creative logos of all time. But the only reason why this logo isn't as popular as it should be is because Jordan brand doesn't give us enough sneakers or merchandise with this logo. Jordan, what are you doing? Next up at number five, we have Paul George's Nike logo. Now check this out. Remember earlier I said I don't really like logos that just incorporate the initials. I think it's a little lazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not know this logo had a P and a G in it until like three months ago. I mean, honestly, I always thought this was some sort of symbol, like in an infinity symbol or a sideways hourglass. I don't know why I thought that, but that is what I thought. And I was looking at it not too long ago and I said, oh my gosh, there's the P and there's the G. Holy crap. This logo absolutely swerved me into thinking that there were no initials in it and that's why I'm putting it this high on this list. I mean, plus it looks pretty clean on his tongue of his shoe, so there's that too. 
Coming in at number four, we have Damian Lillard's logo with Adidas. Now, Damian Lillard is probably my favorite player in the league right now because he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but his loyalty to his city of Oakland is absolutely awesome. And like I said earlier, I can always get down with loyalty. And while this logo may just look like a D to most people, and that makes sense since his name is Damien, it looks like an O to people out here in the Bay. And I can always get down with that kind of symbolism. And I also love those wings designs in the upper left-hand corner that not only represent the three stripes, but it kind of makes this logo look like a superhero logo. Like Wonder Woman could have easily clicked on Dame's logo looking through that USB file that Batman gave her. Am I right? All right, next up on the list at number three, this might be controversial, but we have the Jordan Jumpman. Now, before you guys start hating me in the comment section, let me just plead my case here. The Jumpman logo is iconic, no doubt. It's gotta be one of the most recognized symbols in the entire world, at least the United States. I am not arguing that. I'm just saying from a logo point of view, it's not the best. I mean, it's just a silhouette of Jordan and it doesn't look great everywhere on a sneaker. I think it looks great on the heel and even the tongue, but if you put it anywhere else on a sneaker, it just does not work in my opinion. So that's why I don't have the Jumpman as high on this list as you thought it might have been. But let me know in the comment section below what you think. Is the Jumpman a good logo or is it just iconic? Coming in at number two, we have Penny Hardaway's one cent logo with Nike. Upset alert, I know, but I absolutely adore this logo. It's one of the most creative logos of all time. Much like Kawhi's Leonard logo, where they took his nickname and turned it into a logo, they took Penny's nickname and turned it into a one cent symbol. I mean, come on, how creative is that? I also think what works in this logo's favor is that it's not very prominent in the sneaker world. I mean, it is on the phone posits, but it's very small on the tongue. And I don't even think this logo is on the phone posits pro. So this logo hasn't been pushed in our faces like the Jumpman or the Swoosh. And I think that works in its favor because we see it and we go, whoa, that is a dope logo. I mean, you could actually say that this logo is a pretty penny. Finally, at number one, we have the best signature sneaker logo of all time. And that would be Kobe Bryant's Nike logo. Come on guys, you should have seen this coming. Kobe's logo is absolutely iconic. Obviously, I'm a Laker fan, but I would feel pretty good going into a debate with this as the best signature sneaker logo of all time because like I said earlier, I'm not a fan of initials and logos and nothing about this logo has a K, a B, an eight, or a 24. It's just a logo that symbolizes Kobe Bryant. This logo has become synonymous with Kobe Bryant and vice versa. Kobe is synonymous with this logo. And if you didn't know what this logo exactly was, well, apparently according to Kobe, it's drawn to resemble the seat of a samurai sword. The sword is the raw talent, while the seat is the package it's kept in. Everything you go through, your calluses and your baggage, what you learn. So there you have it, a samurai sword seat, Whatever that means, I think this is the best signature sneaker logo of all time. And Nike has done a great job capitalizing on its fantastic design with great marketing campaigns that feature this logo in a lot of different creative ways. So there you go. That's my favorite signature sneaker logo of all time. I think it's the best hands down. You can fight me about it in the comment section below with your list on the best signature sneaker logos ever. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name is Jaren. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Let's just get started talking about these aesthetically. I think the Curry 4 is one of the best looking sneakers to come out in a very, very long time. It reminds me of a futuristic sneaker, but it's not too aggressive. It's just a clean, simple design. These are absolutely beautiful. I'm loving these. These could easily be